goodness gracious. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to look at the new released Makeup Geek eyeliners. And I just wanna show you kind of some differences with the new liners versus the collection she had put out before. So straight off the bat, you will notice that the eyeliners look completely different and I'm making a mess. Okay, so here we go. We have um, the eyeliners look completely different. She's repackaged to, for the release and you can already tell we have a difference in number. So we have five that have been put out that are new and, and there were nine in the original eyeliners that she put out. So let's look at some of the ones she kept and then we're, we've got some colors that are new that she didn't so have So we'll go before. ahead and go in with the new color she hasn't had before. I'm sorry, she actually had six. I had my black one off, um, off to the side. So there's actually six that were released. Sorry about that little faux pas there. Which means there's probably 10 and that I didn't find the Makeup Geek black one in her original set is what I'm guessing. I have a box that has all my eyeliners in it. So we're just gonna use now what I have. Okay, so from what I, I'm going to be able to tell is we have this kind of gray gunmetal eye, eyeliner and this one is new to the collection, which I absolutely love because I do love grays. The new formula is a roll-up twist formula and that is going to be different than what I show you in a second. But I'm really enjoying having a gray because, again, I like using grays on occasion. Now, what changed as far as the blues go? The blue before was in the full spectrum eyeliner pencil was in the color cobalt. Which you can tell I've used cobalt because I'm, I'm going to need to sharpen this baby. Going to need to sharpen it. So we have a really bright blue there which I like for the inner corner for a pop of color. Now she's gotten a little bit more muted. And so this navy color is actually very, very different from her cobalt blue. So she went from a bright to more of a smokier color. Again, the cobalt I think worked really well on the inner waterline, but this navy actually gives you the opportunity to use it on the inner waterline, but also it allows you to smudge it along the bottom. So I feel like this navy versus the cobalt has a lot more wearability. So I did like to see that upgrade. One of the ones that I did enjoy that she kept in her collection, it, the eyeliner pencil was in the color nude. And now we're going to have the new packaged one and that is also nude. This one I really like using on the inner waterline just to brighten up that inner waterline. And it looks like the color is spot on. So I'm gonna say that formula probably hasn't changed at all from what I am seeing in person. I hope you can see how consistent that is on camera. So this one is great for you to pop on that inner waterline just to give you that awake look, especially if your, your waterline is a bit red. So you can see how that really defines the inner waterline and just makes it look awake. So that I don't look like I've got one sleepy eye and one awake side, we're gonna awaken this eye also. So now it looks like I had two cups of coffee instead of one. And if you can hear my bad dog in the background, I am so sorry. Okay, so next we're gonna compare the Makeup Geek Eyeliner in Espresso, which was a nice brown. I do love the fact that these pencils that she had out were nice and creamy, so I do use, I, I really like the creamy formula. Now this little guy, let's see, this just says brown eyeliner. 
And I will tell you, I've used the heck out of this brown eyeliner. So I want to say that those colors are so close that you're not going to be able to tell a difference. So for anyone that likes the wind up eyeliner, you're going to love this. And like I said, I've used the heck out of this. Like, I haven't picked up really any of her other new ones because I've just been so entrenched with that brown eyeliner. I can't put it down. All right, we're going to talk about some of the uh, purple colors. And the purple that we have here with the old Makeup Geek, this color is Royal. I'm not running out of hand space. I'm not running out of hand space. I'm running out of hand space. And we're going to compare that to, she just went with an easy name called Purple Eyeliner. Again, those colors are, are very uh, close. And I would say it's a nice eggplant color. Again, great for the waterline, very usable for the lower lash line and the upper lash line. So very tickled about that. And when I look at her previous ones, we had like three that were kind of in that purple-esque family. So we're gonna take the darkest purple next and compare that. And that was called Royal. Oh, sorry, already did that. Had a brain moment, had a brain moment. Old people problems. We'll put uh, Plumera next to it, which this was a great color. In fact, I believe it was Urban Decay came out with a color very similar to it, but I, I purchased it. And then when I used it next to Plumera, I rather have used Plumera. So the one that Urban Decay put out, I just wasn't over the moon for. Then we have one of the ones that I still love and adore and use. In fact, this one needs to be redone as far as sharpening. But we have this color here called Orchid. I love using Orchid on the inner waterline. It just pops. And even on the lower lash line, this color is fantastic to use as a base when you want to smoke out the lower lash line with, a, with colors that are in that spectrum. We also have the Makeup Geek uh, Spice, and this is in the brown category, so I should have put it next to these others, but just a little bit lighter of a brown, kind of taupey, but very pretty, so I put that off to the side. So you can see we've got the deeper one and then the lighter one. And then she had two greens in the previous collection that she didn't re-release. And so these reminded me of my high school years. I used these colors like nobody's business on the inner waterline. And every once in a while, I love pulling these out again to give that very late 80s, very late 80s, early 90s flair. So these two greens are absolutely pretty. The last one that she put out, and again, I can't, I don't know what I did with my Makeup Geek pencil version, but we do have the black eyeliner. And I, lo I do love the pencil because the pencil here is just very fine. So you have an opportunity to, to get a much finer line these are so creamy, y'all. I want to say both of these are very, very creamy as far as her formula goes, which is exactly why I love those. So those, both the older version and the newer version, Makeup Geek eyeliners, actually go in a special spot on my table because I just really like being able to get to these immediately because they are so, so good. So anyways, if you have any questions or thoughts about the Makeup Geek eyeliners and you wanna post those below, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about this wonderful formula. I do, I do really would like to know, do really would like to know, if anyone knows why some of these colors didn't come out or come back, let me know. Again, I think this one is more of a brighter collection than this one. Could just be that we're, we're shifting as far as the makeup world goes in colors, which is not too surprising. But some of these were really good that didn't get re-released. So I'm really curious if anyone knows why some of those didn't get re-released. All right, y'all, put your thoughts and comments below and you'll see me in the next video. I hope you guys make it a great day because you have the choice to do so. So why not? Make it a great one. Until next time.